this in this video i'm going to discuss what how to use xml source in ssis so add here so first i'm going to add here microsoft sql server so initially i don't have any xml or table so first i'm going to create one xml table so this uh, already i written one query to create or to create add here dpt or table okay dpt table or record to going to convert into xml format so let's execute that so see at here there is a one xml uh, format to db table records is now converted okay now here after this record going to save into or drive so save as so going to save inside to or desktop so at here writing a dot x and r now here after we need to select all files save so there is a one file created with a1 and here you can check the tag so this is the tag add here dot xml now here after the next thing is so let's track xml source right or right click add it here after browse so here you can find a1 and here a1 now the next thing is xst location so we need to specify the xst location and here generate xst so got the xst so it defines validation rule for an xml file and explain the xml forms so let's so click on browse so add here so initially i don't have any xst file format so clicking all files and here going to or uh, so going to want create one text file so add here go to the desktop so this is the desktop and here going to create a uh, one text file with the name ten okay so inside all xst inside ten they are going to create x and they are going to generate xst or uh, records okay now select the tab now here after open now here after generate now here after so the at here so tab was or text file now this is going to or save as dot xst format save so at here save here after yes now the file is saved okay now here after you can check the properties so this is still access to okay like that now any problem now it's uh, generated now here after go to, go to the columns so the component report the flowing warning so this the warning at here no maximum length or as specified so let's click on okay so at at here let's click on okay now here you can find external data and output data so at here in or db table so here you can find so db number d name location three columns are there so it's all now it's coming from there so you're gonna check here dpt right click select thousand so there are three columns so getting this uh, perfect all suitable columns at this point now let's click on ok so next is so where are you going to save or this xml record okay so let's uh, select at your destination you can select anyone so going to select at your edu.net and here right click and here give the path for destination so name there is already i created one connection with the name local this is the item is the database name as is the user now let's click on okay so select the table so add here which table going to use so let's go to the add-on and here you can find two different columns so let's select add here select top thousand so there is already there are a bunch of records inside tab test okay leave that one and here tab underscore one so it has only three columns 
so let's select add here table underscore one now here after or uh, drop down click on drop down table one here you can check the preview so there are so many things there, this this is the already records are there now here after go to mapping so add here we need to drag and drop drag and drop process so it's all done now here after click on ok now simply we need to execute and the records going to load into target tables so add here a photos affected now here you can check execute this query so see add here 10 accounting this record it's now it's a loaded so this is the simplest way we can use add here XML source in SSIS. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.